Nibiru shock, Planet X will not hit Earth but will strike Jupiter and destroy everything. Nibiru will strike Jupiter and destroy everything it has been claimed amid fears Planet X is poised to hit Earth. A YouTube video claiming to expose the truth about Nibiru, also known as Planet X or Wormwood, claims Earth is heading for a massive cosmic event. The video titled, Planet X Nibiru won't come to Earth but will hit Jupiter and destroy everything, 8th of November 2017, claims Earth will be spared a direct collision. But Nibiru will still perform a catastrophic flyby, which will be devastating for humanity. According to the video posted by Nibiru Conspiracy Channel Latest Technology, the Nibiru theory claims a rogue planetary system is barreling towards our solar planet for a cataclysmic extinction event, by shifting Earth's poles and triggering violent volcanoes and earthquakes. A self proclaimed Nibiru visionary argues the events which will unfold over Earth are now a hot topic for other intelligent species inhabiting space. This is something that is of great importance to many races out there, what happens to us? I guess, you know, that we're the top headline right now with what's going on. He continues to explain in the video how Nibiru is still set to fly by past Earth, as pointed out to him in his visions. This flyby will supposedly trigger earthquakes, tsunamis and cause a pole shift of Earth's magnetic poles to the equator. Due to Nibiru's powerful gravitation waves, Planet X is believed to be ten times the size of Earth. He said, there is no question in my mind that when we have this flyby, we are going to have pole shift event because when this mini constellation, a brown dwarf with planets and moons, comes around, it's gonna arch over and above us and pass over us. All right. There is no question in my mind that when we have this flyby, we are going to have pole shift event. Marshall Masters, Nibiru researcher. But when it does it will be on our side of the sun. In other flybys it was on the other side of the sun. That's the reason why no two flybys are alike in terms of the impact on the planet. By the way, that prediction was made in 2008 and it was spot on. I talk about that in my videos. So that is what I'm telling people to prepare for. And if that concept was not terrifying enough, the Nibiru theorist claims Earth is currently trapped in the outer bands of Nibiru, which has already entered the solar system. Based on his research and observations of meteor activity, Mr. Masters has concluded that in comparison to the rings of Saturn, Nibiru's bands are much larger and broader. He said, that's what we're concerned about right now. We're doing a review on the data and in preparation, and we're looking at that and need to present that, as honestly, this is a possible explanation. We are between the bands. But I look at all the other events that are going on, the increase in solar activity that we finally are seeing, the ring of fire, right now there are bloggers that are reporting that the bisons are starting to walk out of Yellowstone. The Nibiru theorists even claimed his research hit Anerv with US space agency NASA. He said, I knew I hit a nerve, because NASA had my books shut down on Amazon. That's a typical knee-jerk response. I caught NASA red-handed and it does not resonate with people. NASA has repeatedly denied the existence of Nibiru and says the theory is a hoax. Dr. David Morrison NASA's leading scientist, said, there is no credible evidence whatever for the existence of Nibiru. There are no pictures, no tracking, no astronomical observations. I can quite specifically say how we know Planet X or Nibiru does not exist and does not threaten Earth. Firstly, if there was a planet headed into the inner solar system that was going to come close to the Earth, it would already be inside the orbit of Mars. It would be bright, it would be easily visible to the naked eye, if it was up there it would be easy to see it, all of us could see it.